What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this book review. Now this is a book that was recommended to me by Brian from the YouTube channel Mini Walmart. Says it'll be right up my street. So I thought, yeah, I'll check it out. I've ordered it. It's arrived. Here it is, five parsecs from home, third edition. Solo Adventure Wargaming by Modifius. First thing I noticed, obviously, when I got it was, oh, nice hardback book. Hmm, good, excellent. A quick flip through reveals color. Another bonus, nice glossy pages. Yeah, they've gone for production value in this book. And looking at some of the, um, the mechanics in it, I've only uh, had a brief read through, but you've got like the story track and things like that. This is a book designed for solo wargaming. It does remind me a little bit of the um, RPG Those Dark Places. Now, why it reminds me is because I mean, if you're talking, if you're if you're wargaming solo, you're you're kind of one step away from uh, RPG role playing anyway. You are kind of, I mean, or I'll put it out there. Do you do you think it's it's similar to role playing if you're if you're if you're wargaming solo? I mean, is it akin to you know when you're a kid holding two action figures and you know shooting at each other going pow pow pow? It, it, it kind of is. It's just that you're now you're an adult. You have a decent set of rules with which to govern. Battles and outcomes. I mean, I suppose there's as much role playing as you want to put into it. It is a, a war game, though, and, and it does look very interesting. Yes. Yeah, so, so as it says, the, some of the bullet points at the bottom: fast-moving system built for solo gaming from the ground up, and that's true. It does look that way. Create a wide range of characters, whether human, alien, or robot. Generate a huge array of possible missions with more than 50 enemy types. After each battle, check for injuries, level up, find new gear, or upgrade your starship. Random tables for towns, uh, trade, jobs, character events, and starship travel. Five difficulty settings, plus super hard black and red zone jobs. Extensive options for game-mastered RPG-like campaigns with connected plots, environmental hazards, and factional conflict. Seven stage and narrative introductory campaign. So it does mention the role playing. But the book itself seems very well put together. Like I say, I'm going to read this. I, I am going to read this cover to cover. I will come back to you uh, at a later date. And I will have some further conclusions for you. We'll see how it is for typos and that. Obviously, I've not had the chance to go through it. A lot of books do have typos these days. Um, I don't know if that's just a, a, a part of like manufacturing time frames. But, um, but, you know, I always appreciate a book that's uh, obviously been proofread and checked and edited properly. So... I mean, you know, I'm, I'm going to check this out. If it's as good as it looks, and it looks fantastic, I probably will do a playthrough at some point. Because you don't need much in the way of miniatures and things. And uh, like I say, the mechanics look very easy, comprehensive enough for enjoyment without getting bogged down with too much detail. And it looks, like I say, it, it's been well put together and I do appreciate the colour aspect of it. So this is five past six from home. I think I'm going to enjoy this. So thank you, Brian, for the recommendation. And um, yeah, if anybody likes the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that bell button for future notifications. Share. And subscribe if you're not already, perhaps that would be good. Get me another subscribe and check out my Patreon account if you, or my campaign, if you, if you want to have access to exclusive videos 
I mean, possibly if I did a playthrough of this, for instance, it would be for patrons, you know, at a certain level. Uh, and level starts at a dollar a month, so... Um, but I think something like a playthrough would be at least, two, you know, three or four dollars a month uh, requirement because there's a lot of work that goes into a, a game when you put in uh, solo the less of you there are the more work is involved in the video so yeah so the, well, that might well be a, a a patreon possibility a play for this once i've read through it and had a look and all that good stuff anyway thanks so much for joining me on this episode or this uh, review it's been a blast don't forget to paint those miniatures guys because brushes lead to war I will see you on another video. Bye for now.